How does that even work? Oh man, it's medium's mid. That's funny. I was like, I'm gonna get. Shatter orb. Trigger sigil of malice. It changed to the nearest ready. What? If shatter orb. Triggers sign up sigil of malice. It chains to the nearest oh, ready no. sigil of malice. Oh, like it bounces, chains. What is this? A chain, and it bounces, dealing extra damage to minions. So that's gonna do the Q damage and the sigil damage on the minions too. I didn't even know sigils like the passive worked on minions. Oh my god, I have no idea what I'm doing actually. W minions and Q to pop the sigils. Why didn't I go assassin? I think LeBlanc still needs some sustain early. Oh, so you don't have to do Q, W anymore. You can do W, auto, Q. Oh, shit! Meteos with the misclick, lol. Did I proc it? Did I proc my sigil? I think I did. Let's go. That's so cool. That is so cool. Pog fucking champ, dude. You can proc it too? No, can't. Oh, you can proc the passive, but not the AoE. Holy shit. Cucked by graves. What? Respond to aggression! I must respond to aggression. Oh, what? Oh, so bad. I don't know what I'm doing! a global clone to scare someone, but I'm showing! <laughs> He's not gonna get scared when I'm showing! He's just gonna look at the minimap and be like, why did this idiot blow his ulti for no reason? Wow, I still don't really know what I'm doing, but it's okay. Okay, okay. The mimic casts no matter what, but the global mimic. So I thought this was a the global mimic cooldown, not the mimic cooldown. So I can't like use what? RR. Oh, so if I press ulti, it spawns the mimic no matter what. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, come on, this is my first time. Okay. Patience. Yeah, I can do it right here. Get him, LeBlanc! What? It just instantly disappeared? What the fuck? That's it? That's fucking it? Oh, but it has no cooldown. Wait, my ulti has no cooldown? Oh, it does, but I guess I just used the mimic part. I don't know what is happening, but I killed him. That's the most important part, I guess. But since I don't actually use that ability, then I guess it doesn't put my ultimate cooldown to spawn the mimic. Man, this is confusing. It's actually not that confusing. I'm just learning. Yeah, I'm gonna mess with Sneaky here. Patience. <laughs> Just kidding, sneaky. Get prick. Whoa. 
Oh shit, there's a delay now. Oh shit, boys! The box seems fun as hell. Fucking Andy. Andy's riding me on Skype and he's like, every time you die, you always grab your drink. I think it's like a, I don't know, anti tilt thing. I always have something to drink, actually, yeah. It comforts me, you know? When you're sad from dying, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so bad at this game, then you just take a zip and everything feels better. Getting the hang of it, ish. At least I know what I'm doing now. Bro. One seconds and he would have died. Meteos is the savior, the savior of the tower. Lol. The mega creates a target location and approaches to close his visible enemy champion. What happened to the whole LeBlanc goes invisible thing when you use your ult? Is that a thing? I'm pretty sure it said that in the champion spotlight. You press ulti and then you go invisible. Did they change that? Did I go invisible there? Oh! It's the time between casting an ability. R and QE makes you invisible. Because the W... I guess it would be OP if you could be invisible through the air. <laughs> I'm a part of the team fight, guys! Oh god, what is happening? Holy shit, we're gonna lose. What is this ridiculous shit that I'm gonna I don't know what is happening, but they're dying. Woo! Shit, boys! Think we win? We did it. Spillover codes from neutral monster AI. Damn. That was pretty fun.
The box seems fun.